when you first try to do a git commit, you will probably run into this kind of an error message right here where git asks you to tell you who they are. And the nice thing about it is it gives you this output. So you should be able to just follow along and type those two things in. So let me, um, by saying git config, of course it's too big there. And you want to set two values, the user email and uh, your username. And this is just so that git can associate all of your configure your commits with a specific uh, person that they can say this is the person who committed it versus some other person rather than guessing who you are it's just going to ask what you do and so now if I try to commit it's going to succeed I'm just going to put a message here so um, config now working so I deleted the configuration on my thing to, to show you how this works so I don't really have a meaningful commit so that's why I'm using the command line here normally that wouldn't be possible and you can see that the commit works just like we would like it to so make sure the first time you run git that you set up these two configuration values your email address and your name so that people can associate your edits to the repository with a particular person instead of just some uh, unnamed uh, entity.